There are so many studios now where guys are charging, what, 50, 60 bucks an hour. That's for the studio, for the personnel, it's for everything. You get 60 bucks an hour, right? That's what studios were getting in 1985. So in 30 years, <laughs> in 30 years, studios and engineers are getting paid exactly the same amount that they were getting paid in 1985. Okay, you could say, well, things are cheaper now, so, you know, well, I'm sorry, but uh, real estate isn't cheaper. Build-outs aren't cheaper. Hiring a contractor's not cheaper. Things are cheaper in some ways, but microphones still cost money. Mic pre still costs a lot of money. Compressors still cost a lot of money. Room build-outs still cost a lot of money. That does not change one salient fact, and that is the person who's recording your album is making today exactly the same amount of money that I made in 1985. I don't know that it's just this industry. I mean, it seems to me that this is a problem across the board. If you really look at wages for the Americans, they have stagnated over the past 30 years. Yet, things are two to three times more expensive. People uh, uh, are insured, even with Obamacare are insured, yet they can't, they can't pay their bills. <laughs> the music business is just a, a, a little microcosm of the fucked upness of the whole fucking system right now. And until we fix all of that, but in particular in the music industry, people are gonna have a very tough time making a living in this business. And very few people are gonna find a, a path to retirement unless things change. And that's where I tell people, that's where I get very optimistic, because eventually people will be able to make money in this industry again. It's inevitable.